welcome Leos this is your heart spread read we do Leo and Virgo every Wednesday um, been shaking it up a little this week um, talking about instead of doing the normal heart spread which is for the one on your mind your, your romantic interest basically I, I use the heart spread for a number of different purposes but I want to look kind of uh, the anima animus, the seventh house, the projection, which is kind of normally how I look at the heart spread anyway. You, this is you in your first house, and you're looking across to your seventh house. So, got Virgo rising. I tend to look at Pisces, uh, where I most want it, more the energy of uh, my love nature to go. Um, and you know, I find it. Um, and I see that for myself around the psychology of my childhood and everything. So I think I have some awareness of it. Um, big question comes, is that really what you need to feel fulfilled? I think it usually speaks to, you know, something we want in ourselves. Just the, the seventh house, you could say, well, it's your male anima projection, your female anima projection. It's what you want that's from another, you know. Uh, and I just think it's usually related to some part of ourselves that probably we need. Uh, if we bring up that part of ourselves, would we not want anybody else? I don't think so. It may uh, transform the way we manifest and the way we interact uh, with uh, love and lovers, uh, you know, by simply changing ourselves. It's kind of like an internal reading. But here we are. I might say this is our conscious now self, where we are around love and relationships. And number two would be like our unconscious energy. And when I see this here, uh, where we're at in terms of love and relationship, there's two things, lying, cheating, stealing, and there's strategic thinking. And then there's both of them, and it's kind of both of them. But this means it's looking back, he's looking back. Um, it, we're really been hurt before. Lied, cheated, you know, it, 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 I get it, I've been there. Um, and maybe more than once, so I think we have ourselves a pattern, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. So when we find patterns, we're pulling it in from projecting it into the seventh house. Um, let's see what we got over here. Wow, four of, uh, four of pentacles. I think this is kind of like not trying. You know, uh, it's the energy here of um, not really trying in a relationship because you've kind of already concluded that all men or all women or whatever are lying, cheating, stealers. <laughs> kind of like that. And this is your projection here, you're not really putting any in energy into it. Uh, of course, what you'll get with that is lunching stealers. Because <laughs> not everybody's that way. Everybody's a, nar everybody's a narcissist. And you're all reading about the difference between covert narcissist and overt narcissist and everything. And um, it's just not that way. You know, but I'm thinking like you're feeling that way. It's like not really putting a lot of energy into it. Now, this is normally how I read how you're reacting to your person. Here, it's how you're reacting to this uh, projection that I'm talking about here. You know, this unconscious material that's going on that's kind of maybe driving this cycle. This is you that has this cycle of choosing people that just uh, are not really coming across to you in an honest and open way. Um, and this is you, I gotta think it's you really wanting to break this cycle. Um, because I'd like to see this, it's hard to read the tower here. Because this is your energy of how you feel about your spiritual connection. And it's, um, it, or you're just feeling like it's not there, like it was broken. Maybe you fell out of a spiritual connection um, at some point during a dark night of a soul. Just seven of swords can be a dark night of a soul in terms of, uh, the mind going around and you know I kind of see this as scorpionic and seeing the dark side even though it's swords seeing that dark side of things people why we do things even in ourselves and you feel like like you know you're like don't blame me God like brought the castle down you know um, look at that now this is how your higher self's feeling towards you now what's that I think there's something coming in with the Hierophant uh, here for you, Leo, uh, about uh, childhood, religion, and whatever was the religion of your parents. And I got the feeling it was that uh, they probably weren't Buddhists, you know. 
their uh, stricter religion, you know, whichever one, uh, Christian. Um, and this is what you had the falling out with. This you had the falling out with this um, religion, really. It's not, I don't even look at it as spiritual. It's this religion that came from your ancestors, from your family, guys. I do look at the bottom of the deck, wounded warrior. So you're also, someone just feel like you've been struggling and struggling and trying and trying. Um, and this is kind of like, looking back, just a lot of people disappointing you in a lot of different ways. You know, yeah. And it comes, when you start to carry that forward into a relationship, you know, it's like you're sort of creating uh, your own defeat because you know you already assume that there's no way people can be open and honest and, Yeah The magician now this is your advice from spirit Towards your own higher self and I believe this advice is very clear It's to make alignment with your higher self and by all means, you know using your actions Using your language and communication your actions are wands your communications are swords using your pinnacle uh, pinnacles grounding yourself taking uh, steps to make sure that you can make this happen, whatever needs to happen. Um, it, Pinnacles, I think, can bring in other people, you know, as well. And even being able to use cups, you know, which is your emotions, bringing your emotions under control, grounding your emotions, and focusing on that. And honestly, it's like Spirit's kind of saying, instead of that, it's like, don't, don't worry about believing in anything, just focus on this. It's like you, magician is when you have the power within you to do whatever you want. Yeah, and that's advice from spirit, guys. And here, this is saying, this is over. This could be over, this tower here. And these are the seven of wands here. Seven of swords, I mean. Now you got the ten of swords. It's trying to say, and this is advice now, from your higher self. It's like, uh, we're almost there, guys. Um, it's like, uh, just... Maybe just watching this reading. Just a little more work. We're kind of in that energy with the Scorpio energy right now. Like a finishing school. Like finishing off, taking care of whatever we didn't take care of. And very much saying that's in your hands. Um, you're on the really precipice of letting this go. Maybe you're already let it go. Maybe that's what that tower is. That you've already kind of had like the dark night. So you've already let go of your connection. Um, and with the magician, I think you can create a new connection. And look, this is the advice from Spirit uh, for the reading as a whole. Usually I say for the couple as a whole, but here we're reading yourself. Um, it's like you, I don't know if you believe this, but this is, a, this is in the advice from Spirit for, for you as a whole. The crux of the heart spirit, the very core of it. You know, you can have love. I don't think this is about a choice. It's basically telling you, you can have this lover's energy. You know, um, I think of the magician as being kind of Gemini. Lovers is the Gemini card. So maybe it goes with that, telling you to, you know, know that you really do have control of this. And you can be the lover. And it's kind of like I was telling you, what mainly what you got to do is say, like, you know what? There's 8 billion people on the world, in the world, and not all men or all women are really assholes after all. God, I remember a conversation years ago with a bunch of these guys that I still don't talk to. And, you know, um, I finally said, could you maybe admit there might be one woman in the world that's not a... Mm, yeah. and they had to really think about it. Well, maybe there's one. You know? I'm like, oh my God, you know, it's like, how hurt have people been, you know? Wow, so this is a magnificent outcome. Remember we're talking about alignment with yourself here. This is firing up. This is coming up over this lover's card. I mean, eight of wands uh, over the lovers. Um, not only firing back up, this might be you actually taking an active interest in someone, guys. Um, check out some of the singles readings I've been doing. I've been doing uh, five-minute all-side readings with timestamps. And, and see what they're saying, Leo, um, might be helpful. And check out the Soul Family Read, too, if you haven't yet. Just for whoever resonates more about spirituality manifestation. But um, 
I think it's like something's going to, this, maybe this tower is a classic tower that clears the way for something, you know, um, and once it's gone, uh, you're free, and it certainly looks like you're pursuing love, you know, I think this is you, because remember, this is your reading, maybe decide to give your energy to love now, and let me know if that resonates, and if you do, I mean, now you're in Manifestation City, you really should check out the Soul Family Read. That's a lot of what we talk about. So thank you guys. Like, share, tell a friend, tell a friend. Do subscribe. Thank you.